Heck yeah, we're off. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we are on our way to install some new parts here on my dad's King Ranch. I have been waiting for these parts for about a week now. They finally showed up and I am super, super stoked and I hope you guys are too because I think this upgrade is gonna look so sick on this truck. Now I'm hoping the upgrade goes smooth in the installation process is not too complicated because you know well that can totally happen that stuff can just happen when you're installing new parts on vehicles you've got like this mindset of it's gonna be so easy and then you get into it and you're like why did I dumb this down so much in my mind because now I'm more stressed out about it than I need to be it should go well we'll get it done and uh, hopefully it turns out just as great as I'm hoping it will and on another note guys if you want to get enter to win the 700 horsepower 2007 59 Cummins plus five thousand dollars cash guys it is your last 24 hours to enter to win this truck. Head on over to the store if you're thinking about entering. Grab anything you want off the store. And as soon as you check out, you're automatically entered to win. Best of luck to you guys. Hopefully I see your name in the drawing. You could be that person taking home that truck and $5,000 cash, but you're not going to know and you'll never find out if you don't put your name in it to win it. Let's go. going to be working on new headlights for the truck. Yes, brand new headlights for this truck and I'm going to explain why we're getting rid of these ones in the first place. A couple of reasons. A, they're pretty, um, well, the water doesn't help because it's kind of hiding the flaws. Let me dry them off real quick. Okay, so that should help reveal the defects. The headlights, I actually got these from my dad as a birthday gift, headlights and tail lights and smoked cab lights about two years ago, two and a half years ago now. The headlights are just fading out real bad. These are about 160 bucks just for the housings and I just bought some new bulbs. You can see the clear like film off the headlight is actually like fading away and chipping off and it's doing that on both of them. They're both doing the exact same thing which is really unfortunate because they're not even a very old set. There's not like a bunch of condensation inside or anything like that, like that seems to be fine, but they are fading out real bad. You can see all the fade in the headlight. So it doesn't have like that clean, crisp, new look that they used to. And so they just look kind of dull and you know, it kind of defeated the purpose of upgrading from stock headlights to an aftermarket set that looked a lot cooler. And then these are like fading out real bad and they don't really look amazing anymore. Maybe one of you guys would like to purchase a set for like half the price of what I paid just to throw them on your truck or maybe you can just get rid of that film and you know do something else with them. Um, I'm just wanting to swap these out because he's also mentioned wanting a new set for the last couple months now. He's mentioned on and off. He's like you know since seasons are starting to fade he's like I wouldn't mind getting like you know the 2017 to 19 style headlights on it that have like that you know c-shaped LED strip around and all that stuff with the projector look and all that. This is a good idea. We got some new headlights and we did go with the updated style for this truck. Now it's like a retrofit setup so they're not like obviously they're not stock 2017 to 19 like style for headlights. They're just the ones that fit in this truck but they're just made to replicate that style and fashion that those headlights are. So they are aftermarket looking. They don't look like a complete OEM newer style headlight. They do look really sick. It's that concept, but with a little bit of a twist. So let's get them unboxed and show you what we're dealing with. We're gonna get these things opened up with the biggest, most obnoxious knife I could find. This knife, we've actually had this thing for a long time. It was like 10 bucks at a Walmart. I bought it when I was like probably 12 years old. And we've just used it around the barn and left it on a tractor to cut bale twine and everything else ever since. Hopefully everything is here that we need. Because I'm telling you what, I hate it when you order something and then half of it shows up. And then you wait for parts to show. And then when you get them, you still can't even complete the project. Look at these. Probably can't even see them that well, so I'm gonna take them out of here because things are huge. Heck yeah. They come with all of the wiring, harness, and kit because these are actually a sequential headlight setup. So the main daytime light on this thing is actually gonna be LED, like a white LED, and then the turning signal is actually gonna turn to be amber, which is gonna match like the cab lights, the mirrors, and the current turning signals are already 
uh, like the amber look, they're just a single bulb, but like this is all gonna flip to amber when you flip a turning signal on, and then it's gonna go back to LED as soon as it turns off. So pretty stoked about that. I think it's gonna look really sick on the truck, and especially like with the cab light, the smoked lenses on everything as well, the tail lights, which have actually held up in amazing shape, haven't had any issues, no fading, no peeling on them. I think it's gonna all tie together super sick. So we're gonna actually get to popping the hood and getting this thing dismantled. Pretty sure all we gotta do is pop off the grill, and then once you pop off the grill, the headlights themselves and the wiring should all be revealed, and I think it's just a couple of small bolts and everything pops out, so let's get to it right now. Got the first headlight installed. I'm gonna show you a little before, okay? And then there's an after. It's so much better. These are Alpha Rex headlights, and I'll try to leave a link in the description below if I don't forget. Red wire goes to positive battery terminal, of course. Black goes to negative. And then there's a gray wire on the harness that came with it as well. That has to tap into fuse number 50 on these trucks. So we're gonna actually work on doing the same process on the other side now that all the harder stuff's done with the wiring ran and everything. I hid the positive wire that's gotta run to the other side. It's behind this plastic bar up here, and then it comes out over here. Um, but that's all hidden behind here where there's no moving parts. It's not gonna get hit by the hood or anything like that, and you don't see it. So I'm gonna pop this headlight out and tuck it back behind there, and then it'll be completely out of sight, and then we're gonna get to swapping this one out, and then hopefully, hopefully, everything works perfect and it looks awesome, and we can go show it to my dad. The headlights are in. I got the hazards on right now. It looks pretty freaking good. Camera's doing a decent job of doing it justice, but you've got that switchback style, so you've got the amber, and then when I flip those off and just turn on the headlights, I'll show you that. Then you've got just the daytime lights. Those are white LED. So then that's just your daytime running lights right there. So you still got some amber accents on the corner lights in the daytime and that center light right there, which ties in with you know the cab lights and then the mirrors do blink as well. They're not wired for some reason to be constant daytime and stay amber even when you're not using your turning signal. But when you flip on your turning signal, everything on the headlight obviously turns to amber and then the mirrors actually do flash amber as well. So. It all ties together pretty stinking good. Now the real question is, is dad gonna like the new look? Right now I've actually gotta get that trailer, my car hauler pulled out of here because we are going to be going to pick up a new truck tomorrow and I'm gonna need my trailer. Crystal clear. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> That's a ton better, isn't it? Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. Now, if you want to hold this, let me show you something. That's 
pretty sluggy. <laughs> Now, what are the, uh, if you put your, like, your brights on, it's just the bottom ones you added? They both turn on. They both turn on. Yeah. Both turn on for brights. That's really cool. Yeah. Pretty easy to install? Yeah, it's pretty easy. They actually, the kit, I told them these are Alpha Rex headlights, and the kit is actually completely plug and play. So there's no like splicing wires and crap. It's they make adapters for everything. So it's all just plug in and unplug. Super easy. I think it's definitely an upgrade that's worth doing on these trucks for headlights from the stock ones to these. I mean, they're just got, so the other ones are cool, better than stock. But now these are even better yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the other ones were fading off and peeling and you know. But I like the projector look and all the LED stuff. So. Fancy. So you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Now hopefully these ones don't fade and peel in like two years like the other ones. Dad really liked the headlights. He had to rush though. He had to get out of there. I actually like hardly caught him in time because he has to run back into the office and I was like, he's like, I gotta leave at 2.30. I'm like, I can be there at 2.25. So I had to rush over there, get a quick clip with him, drive all the way back across town. It ended up looking super good he really likes them he even texts me after he's like those headlights looked so freaking sick um we just didn't have a lot of time to communicate about it right then but i did get his initial reaction and he he really likes them. thank you so much for all of the love and support thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up and comment down below let me know what you thought about it and then also if you want to get entered to win this 2007 59 cummins right there plus five thousand dollars cash all you got to do is go to lmpgear.com you could buy a hoodie like this a hat like this a shirt like the one i'm wearing but you could buy anything you see on the store and as soon as you check out you're automatically entered to win but the giveaway does end Thursday, April 14th at 11.59 p.m. So Thursday, you have the entire day on Thursday to enter, but when it hits midnight that night, the end of that day, the giveaway's over. So if you wanna get in on that, you've got to get in. Otherwise, forever hold your peace. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully tomorrow we are showing you a new truck.